Hi, I'm Keith Melton, the president of Cane Masters. Each week at our office, we receive a number of questions about traveling with a cane. So I'd like to present some tips that I hope you'll find are useful. We are often asked if it's illegal to carry a self-defense cane. And in some states, people believe that it may be. The truth is that canes are not illegal. It's bad acts that individuals do that are illegal. The classic case from the law books is, you know, a hot dog can be used as a vicious weapon if you throw it at somebody. Canes don't cause problems. Use it responsibly and simply carry it like it's intended to be used. When you're traveling on the airlines, you can, of course, carry your cane with you inside the aircraft or you can check it with your luggage. Now, this covers all of the standard personal protection and mobility canes that we sell. However, if you buy some of these crazy canes that you see on Amazon or eBay that have carved dragons and all kind of sharp points and metal tips, I don't think you can legally carry that. But a simple, functional, personal protection cane will be not only your friend because it makes you walk easier, but you know it's something you can legally carry and keep with you all the time. Whenever I travel, I always carry a mobility card. And this is something that we produced. It's rigid plastic, will last you a lifetime. And it's designed to give you the highlights of the two laws that establish your federal rights to carry and use a cane. The first is the HIPAA law of 2003, which says that your medical privacy includes that no one can legally ask you why you carry a cane or they can't probe into your medical history. That's private information for you. And the second is the Americans with Disability Act, which protects your right to use an approved mobility device, such as our canes, in any form of public transportation, which essentially covers your planes, trains, and automobiles. So if you don't have one of those, they're inexpensive, please check our website. We'd be glad to send one out to you. If you're going to the airport, always remember to use your cane like a cane. It's not a lunch pail. You don't carry it like this. It's not something that you carry strangely. You don't carry it like this. If you're there with a cane, you need to walk with it and use it. We recommend the horn forward position for the cane. If you take a look in the YouTube videos, you'll see one where we just focused on the correct way to carry a cane. Once you approach the TSA check-in, what you'll need to do, you place your carry-on baggage and your cane on the conveyor belt. It'll pass through. There is no metal on any of our canes. Consequently, there is no reason for anyone from TSA to ever touch your cane. You pass through the magnetometer. You go to the other side and pick it up. That's all there is to it. We've recently been asked if you can travel with two canes. And from personal experience, I have done that. I, when I was having back difficulties, I've walked with two canes. I've used one cane. I've kept a separate one with my carry-on luggage. The airlines are very adverse to ask you anything about disability. So just be responsible. I probably wouldn't take a dozen canes with me but I've never had any problem reported for carrying two canes. When you're in the airport, you understand that you are carrying a mobility device. Now, you also know that it has some wonderful applications for personal protection, but that's not something you want to share with everyone around you. I was in an airport recently and I saw a gentleman doing various flips and maneuvers with his cane to entertain people in the waiting lounge. Um, he needed a little more practice, but that's a great idea, but the wrong time. Do that in private. Do that in the gym. Do it in your hotel room. Don't do it in an airport. When you're ready to board a flight, it may take you a little longer to get down the jetway. And as such, you may want to alert the front counter and ask to board early. The advantage of doing that is once you get to your seat, 
you won't have any trouble finding space for your cane in the overhead. The TSA requires that your cane be in the overhead for the flight. Now, if you need it to go to the restroom, you can certainly reach up and get it and go back and forth. But it's comfortably up there, it's safe. I try to make sure that no one puts sharp objects on top of mine just because I don't want to get it scratched up. At Cane Masters, we're here for you. If you have any questions, we'd love to hear from you. But first, make sure you hit the subscribe button. We'd love to notify you regularly when we put out new videos. Give us a call if you have any questions, and please visit our website.